snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault and you're watching Animal Logic. And I do like snakes. Pythons, or Pythonidae, are a family of non-venomous snakes that are native to Australia, Africa, and Asia. They come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from 24 inches or 61 centimeters to 30 feet or 9 meters long. And by all shapes, I mean just the snake-shaped one. The longest python, the reticulated python, is in fact the longest snake in the world. Not the largest, boa constrictors have that on lock. The longest captive python on record goes to Medusa in Kansas City, who is 25 feet or 7.6 meters long. In the wild, they tend to be a bit bigger, the longest being just under 33 feet or 10 meters long. Pythons are known as old world snakes, as they still have remnants of a pelvis, hind legs, and they still have two lungs, where other snakes have evolved to only have one, as to free up more space for swallowing prey. Their vestigial hind legs are located on either side of their cloaca and resemble short spurs, which they use to grip into females during sex. Unlike smaller snakes that move in winding patterns, pythons primarily move using what's called rectilinear progression. Basically, they move straight forward in a line by leveraging their ribs against the ground and lifting their bellies forward, like an inchworm, only less exaggerated. This allows them to move at the lightning speed of one mile or 1.6 kilometers an hour. A python's meal depends on the size of the python. Anthill pythons eat rodents and lizards, rock pythons eat antelopes and goats, and Burmese pythons, they'll eat alligators. Sometimes, a python's eyes are bigger than its stomach, resulting in alligators and porcupines bursting out of their bellies. Kinda like alien. But they don't chew, they just swallow them whole. Contrary to popular belief, Pythons don't actually unhinge their jaws, but instead, their jaws are loosely connected with ligaments, and not only open top to bottom, but left to right. This allows them to eat prey three times larger than their mouths. Inside these flexible mouths are sharp teeth, which curve inward, preventing the prey from escaping their doom. They slide their mouths over their prey, their muscles move it into their stomach, and then they begin the slow digestion process. They won't always digest the whole meal, as it takes time, and they may need to flee in the face of danger. Depending on the size of the meal, they may not eat for another year. There's an urban legend out there of pet pythons sizing up their owner by lying down next to them to see if they're big enough to eat them. But this totally isn't true. Pythons do not measure prey. They're ambush hunters. And nothing gives away an ambush like lounging out next to your prey. When they kill, they strike quickly, and if the meal's too large, they will regurgitate it. Like boa constrictors, pythons are non-venomous and kill via constriction, which is to suffocate, not crush bone. They strike quickly, gripping their prey with their teeth, and then they coil their body around the prey, suffocating it. However, a study on boa constrictors in 2015 found that they don't constrict to suffocate their prey, but rather to restrict blood flow to the brain. Although, it's not clear if pythons do the same. Pythons also make very popular pets and lifelong companions, as they can live around 40 years in captivity. This has led to a big problem in Florida. Basically, people imported them from Southeast Asia as pets back in the 80s. They got too big and were released or escaped, and suddenly the Florida Everglades had a huge Burmese python problem. The pythons can reproduce very quickly and have been wiping out local bobcat, fox, and raccoon populations. To combat this issue, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission has organized an annual python hunt, which awards $1,000 for the largest python killed and 1,500 for the most pythons killed. Luckily, there have been very, very few human deaths due to Burmese pythons, with only 16 deaths between 1978 and 2009 in the United States, and seven of those were from captive pythons. Though if you want the ultimate cure for your snake fear, the Cebu City Zoo in the Philippines offers python massages. Sounds pretty relaxing to me. This is actually a good massage, actually. They're actually massaging my core, and uh, it's not too heavy. Except for the, the, the snake trying to constrict my neck, it's actually quite comfortable. 
So what animals should I check out next? Please let me know in the comments. If you want to help keep this show going and get episodes of Animal Logic a whole week early, be sure to sign up for your free 30-day trial of the video streaming app Love Nature, which is currently featuring Animal Logic. It's not available in every country yet, so if you can't get it, you can still watch episodes a week early on our website, community.lovenature.com. Though if you can sign up for the app, thank you. It's going to go a long way to keep the lights on here for Animal Logic. Be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every other week on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Blue, we're done.